Okay, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the kill feed glow effect in Sony Vegas. And that is pretty much when you get a kill feed and the weapon in the kill notice area is glowing, in this case the MSR. So, start out by finding the last kill in your clip, which for me is this one. And one kill already disappeared off the kill notice, so it's four, but that's fine and right at the last kill you are going to twixter it so you can keyframe it like really easily because this you don't want it to be like moving fast or you don't want it to go away and it'll just look better so I'm just gonna use Sony Vegas twixter which I don't usually use but I don't feel like going into After Effects right now so I'm going to use the settings that I remembered from a tutorial which I think that's it. I'll put it at... I'll put it to 2. Actually, yeah, 2. That's good. Okay. Let me just make sure this is not horrible, which it kind of looks like it is. Uh, oh god. Alright. I'm going to pre-render it so I can see it. And if you haven't known this, pre-render is Shift B on like the highlighted area and yep it makes it so it doesn't lag when you watch it and right now it is going very slow alright that's good okay yeah good enough horrible Sony Vegas Twixer that's how we roll alright now you want to make a new layer which I use Control Shift Q. Actually, make four because there's four kills. We need a layer for each kill. And now, um, go to Media Generators, Solid Color. Pick white or whatever color you want the kill feed to be, but most people do white because it's kind of already white. And for now, just take the opacity, and put it all the way down. Alright, so now go into Pan and Crop on the Kill Feed quick Clip, the Twixer part of it too, and go down to Mask, and then zoom in pretty much all the way, and then get your Pen Tool, and cut the gun out. Okay, now that you're done cutting out the gun, go to the little keyframe that we have made, and right click it, and click copy, and then uncheck mask, because we don't want to mask this for real. Okay, I'm back, I just had to pause this to go do something, but um, next thing you want to do is get the white solid layer and copy it and then paste it in your next video layer and uh... I, yeah just pick that one i guess <laughs> alright so go into pan and crop and these two will be like on top of each other well these two so i'm gonna zoom in so i have a more accurate placement of the gun and then let's move it down little bit onto where the other gun is which I'd say is about right there let's move it over a little bit alright that's good and then I'm gonna copy this so I don't have to move it down as far paste it there pan and crop same thing okay Alright. Yep. That looks good. And then just one more. Alright, pan and crop. Same exact thing. And you are done. Now, if you don't know what I mean by keyframing, I will show you 
with one of these guns because I can't make this tutorial really long anyways let's go over alright so I shoot right right there actually alright yeah right alright so that right there is where my name appears so I will use the last gun for this and I'll show you how to keyframe this okay I am back once again sorry about that my brother came in way too many interruptions here alright but anyways keyframing let's keyframe this I'm actually gonna cut it because I don't feel like dealing with this whole entire timeline alright so keyframing you go to um, pan crop to keyframe motion I'm gonna zoom in so I can see each frame actually no I don't need to zoom in I can already see each frame alright so the first place you want it is down where it should be which is right there over the first gun okay now you want to go frame by frame here or every like three or four frames depends on your frame rate and other stuff like that but yeah so you move it along here as the clip moves you just place it back where it should be over the gun sorry if I'm doing this slow this is like my first tutorial but yeah so it's going to move with the um the video and let's keep it going alright so right this frame is where it stops moving so let's just fix it up a little bit make sure that looks good yeah so yeah and you do that with all of the guns and you will have your glowing kill feed effect with Sony Vegas alright so thanks for watching I hope you liked it please subscribe and here is the actual clip after it's edited